We were looking for ways to demonstrate to our members the value that state cover creates beyond just price. We had assessed a lot of the enterprise management frameworks that were available, but it just didn't fit the mutual business model. They were focused primarily on the commercial measures. We knew that there were behaviours and activities that were highly valued by our members that also contributed to our value creation. We were looking for a framework that was going to be able to demonstrate those behaviours and activities. And then when the mutual value framework came along, we were quite excited because that was the solution that we were looking for, hence decided to um, adopt it. We had various sessions with the staff, so we brought them together and worked about identifying and describing those value creating activities. So that was happened over a number of sessions and we would revisit those and test them again until we were satisfied that they were all captured. We then set about developing the measures for those activities. Most of these we already reported on, so they are held in some document or database somewhere. We then set about defining those measures and we appointed owners to them and documented where that information was sourced. Then we set about developing future targets for the, each of those measures to help us sort of describe the performance we were looking for um, into the future. The targets from there we've now cascaded to across the business and down to teams and down to a KPI, individual KPI level. We want to capture those measures and the performance against them so we can report back to the business. So we're actually building those dashboards at the moment. From a qualitative perspective, measures included feedback from our members. So asking them about the things that they valued that we provided. And we use the survey feedback to set the, the targets for that. From a, a quantitative, things such as member retention, things like our investment returns, our pricing, how we compare to our competitors from a pricing yeah. perspective. We sort of concluded the employee value proposition was one of the measures, but getting more feedback from them them around their satisfaction with the organisation was probably one of the gaps. So it's important to us that we have the mutual mindset, but we need to be able to measure some of those dimensions and staff input to that would be important. So when we do our staff survey, um, a couple of times throughout the year, we're going to be incorporating some questions into that that we will then use as measures for, for the mutual value framework. So far, uh, and how we've used it, it's been nice to get some discipline over our approach of measuring mutual values. And we're also now thinking more systematically and, and in a lot of things we do, we ask ourselves, well, is that creating value? And if it's not, then why are we doing it? So that's one of the benefits. We have a baseline now, so we can measure mutual value creation into the future. And from a board's perspective, that's quite useful. So they can understand if we're building on that value or maybe we could be eroding it by some of the things we're doing. We've actually built some of the output into our corporate um, messaging framework. So being able to communicate back to our members the value we create, we now have proof points and we have evidence sources, which was really the starting point to all this, and which is why we wanted it. The measures that we're now providing to our staff and their KPIs, they can see how they're contributing through to the mutual value creation. So that's now useful. Uh, and it certainly helps from a cultural perspective and motivation perspective. We've aligned our strategic initiatives with the framework. Uh, we've used the output to incorporate into new business tenders. We think that'll give us both efficiencies and then allow us to create even more value for our members.